Hey guys, it's been a little while since I posted a video. I've been having a lot of trouble finding time to edit. If you can hear my kids in the background right now, you are experiencing firsthand how hard it is to get this video done and recorded without any interruptions. Today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on me. We've been getting a lot of questions from people asking specific things about what made us make the decision and who I am really as a person. <laughs> Come here, bum. So today we're going to do a quick Q&A um, on questions that we've gotten from people who have been following so far. It's been four weeks since I quit my job and two weeks since I received my last paycheck. That was a huge reality check once that was deposited and I knew I was not going to be collecting any other income anytime soon. It was a huge freak out for us. Excuse the interruption again. I grew up in the greater Montreal area. When I was in grade seven, my parents made the decision to move us out to the middle of nowhere, about an hour out from Montreal, because the schools were smaller, the area was quieter, and they thought that that would be a better place for us to grow up. So I actually met Jay in my very first class. We sat in front of each other. We did not start dating until way, way after high school ended. I don't even know if you can really say that we were friends in high school. We hung out with a couple mutual friends, but we didn't really hang out together one-on-one. -on -one. High school ended, we lost touch, and it was many years before we reconnected. A good friend of mine was going out, she invited some of her friends and Jay was there. So that's where we reconnected, I think it was at the Hard Rock Cafe. Is there a Hard Rock Cafe in Montreal? Yes, there is. Okay, so that's where it was. It was about a year after that that Jay was still chasing me. I wanted to be his friend and nothing more. Well, deep down I wanted to be more, but I guess I couldn't admit it to myself. And it was about a year of him being my friend before we actually took the official leap into dating. And then after that, we dated for about a year. And during that year, a lot happened. My dad was diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer. Stage four cancer basically means that there's not much hope of survival. My dad was the leader of our household and he kind of was the glue that stuck everything together. And with him getting sick, it really affected our whole family. Knowing my dad had only a short time to live, they gave him six, to, six months to a year. And knowing that Jay and I had only been dating for a year, we knew that we were meant to be and Jay asked my dad <sighs> Jay asked my dad if he could marry me which was super special and important for me because that's something that I always knew I wanted I never had said that to Jay but I definitely knew that the man I was going to marry, I needed him to ask for my dad's blessing, and Jay did that. So, my dad was diagnosed, and almost exactly a year later, on June 24th, 2011, my dad passed away. Almost a year after that, we got married so that was a crazy time of our lives we were planning a wedding my dad passed away and we were buying a condo and it was just really busy and hectic and so i think that things happen for a reason i really believe that that has been shown to me over and over throughout my entire life
we decided to start a family about two years into our marriage. We thought it was perfect time to start trying and personally I didn't think it would happen as quickly as it did, but it did. First time's a charm, I guess you could say, and we were pregnant with our first baby who ended up being Sydney. At some point during my pregnancy, I was at work and I got a phone call from my mom where she told me that she was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. So after having gone through that with my dad, finding out that we are gonna go through it again with my mom was heartbreaking. A few months after we found out that my mom was sick, Sydney was born, healthy, perfect little boy. And he brought so much joy back to our family. <laughs> and I really believe that Sydney is the reason why my mom, who was diagnosed almost four years ago, is still alive today. So Sydney was born, my mom is sick, and it put a lot of stress on our marriage and our relationship and our family as a whole. But during all of this hard time again, we were lucky enough to get pregnant with our second baby, who is our daughter Adelaide. She again brought so much joy into our family we're thankful for her every single day. Who knows if we'll have any others? <laughs> I would like to. I don't think Jay wants to. But we'll see. Who knows? So the last five or six years had all come to a head and we realized that life was really too short. It's a full-time job taking care of a family. It's a full-time job having kids and a house to take care of and gardens and cars and bills and budgets. All of those things take time. And that's why you see so many people now our age that are having to pay cleaning ladies or organize meal services and things like that. I didn't want that. I wanted to be able to make my own meal plans and, and clean my own house. Why was I going to work so that I could pay someone else to do the things that I wanted to do? or needed to do for my family. It just didn't make sense. We really just wanted to slow everything down and enjoy the time with our kids and enjoy the time with our family because your kids are only young ones. And the answer is no. We don't know what we're doing and that's okay because not knowing what you're doing is sometimes part of the fun. I don't consider Jay and I to be risk takers, but I guess we are because we've done this a few times already in our lives where we just sort of decide to do something and go for it full force. And that's what I really want this channel to be about is to show people that life is scary and is it always gonna be perfect? Is it always going to be pretty and flowers and smelling like roses? No, it's not going to be. There are gonna be hard times and that's what's so great about being human is you go through these hard times and you make it through and you're stronger for it. That's what this whole channel is about. So the message that I want to get across here is if you want to do this and you want to take the leap yourself, don't expect your life to look perfect. Don't expect it to be yeah. like those perfect Instagram pages and YouTube channels where everything comes easily. It doesn't come easily. And that's what this channel is really about. Life isn't perfect, nobody is, and you don't need to be either. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you aren't already following us on Instagram, you can find us on there at, at Marshmallow. <laughs>